So the importance of um, sex or gender disaggregated data in COVID-19 is that it can help um, us understand whether there are biological differences in risk or whether the risks are actually social. So for instance, um, if you see huge differences between men and women, then it's possible that from a biological perspective, maybe perhaps we, men are more at risk uh, for COVID-19, but it could also show that maybe it's a social, uh, a social disease whereby men are more at risk by virtue of what they do and the kinds of exposures that they have. But on the other side, on the other hand, once you find these kinds of differences, it can also give an indication of what kind of societal impacts to expect because men and women play different roles. And so you might find that um, if men are predominantly affected, then the societal impacts you'd expect might be different from if women were more predominantly affected. Uh, in, in countries where there is huge uh, issue of unequal gender norms, which is, love, which is um, by and large universal, uh, this database is going to be extremely useful. It's really important to have sex disaggregated data because it allows us to see whether there are differences in the health outcomes of men and women. It allows us to track those differences over time to see whether they change. And probably most importantly, it allows us to both investigate why the differences are there whether it's a combination, uh, whether it's down to biology or gender or a combination of both. And it allows us to therefore intervene and um, have an impact on reducing the differences. Yeah.